Hello everyone, I am Tanina, the product specialist for Lab Evaporation and I would like to welcome you today into our labs here in the headquarters in Switzerland. You can see all the systems there, but today we're going to focus on the rotor vapor. So I'm taking out the lid out of the bath. This helps to prevent water evaporating. Um, I'm putting my flask there. As you can see, it's quite easy handling and I go to the solvent library. I choose water because that is the solvent that I have in my evaporating flask. And because the interface is connected to all the systems, then the set pressure is connected to the heating bath temperature and the chiller's temperature. So now we're going to go a little bit further and you can see, obviously, we have the rotor vapor here. We also have the pump that started pumping and the chiller down there. And because the interface is connected to all three of them, then again, the pressure is set knowing that. Now let's get closer because something cool is going to happen. There you go. Foam is appearing and foam is disappearing. So what happened here? Because the foam sensor, this black thing here so foam come in it breaks the vacuum and then the foam breaks as well so now we're gonna see a bit of our accessories this evaporating flask is flanged as you can see and it's for powdery uh, compounds here we have what we call our beaker flask with the wide opener so if you have a sticky sample that might be quite useful for you and next to it, we have what we call the Dewar accessory. If you want to do some freeze drying sample preparation, you put this instead of the bath, put your flask and then it just prepares your sample for freeze drying and with putting dry ice inside, obviously. So now we're going to check what we call the dry mode. So it's just here in the library and I choose a rotation interval of five seconds. What does that mean? It means that the flask is going to rotate on one side for five seconds and then it's going to start rotating on the other side. So again, if you have powdery compounds that stick to the flask, this prevents this issue. There you go. This is the end of our little visit into our labs. Um, I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.